Hello, it's Ashley here for your next stamp. Welcome back for another episode of Stamp Create Repeat. Today I have a fun process video for you of this really cute card. It could be for Father's Day or just any occasion that you wanted to make a card for your dad. So I had a lot of fun coloring up these images. I used the sentiment, man, you are handy. And then I used an actual little toothpick to make a little flag that says number one dad. I thought that was really cute. And then I have a stamped out background with the images. So I'll start by showing you the products I'll be using. I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. Love that ink so much. I also use the Your Next Stamp Blue Caraco ink and I use that for the little number one dad banner. I use my wire snips. And then I pulled in some Your Next Stamp gumdrops. I used these really pretty new ones. These I used for the clear ones. And this is the Frosted Glass gumdrops, so I used those. And then I also used these gumdrops. I used the little blue ones for the overalls there. I put them as little buttons, and I thought that looked precious. Those are the Cosmic Crush gumdrops there. And I will link all of this below for you to find over in the Your Next Stamp store. I also used the paper from this paper pad. It's called Happy Spring. And although it's a spring Easter paper pad, there's still a ton of other really pretty pattern papers in there that are totally usable for any occasion. So I used that really pretty triangle one and it had some nice blues and greens and oranges. This set is called Nailed It, and this set is so stinking cute. I love this little dad here. There's a ton of different construction tools and there's also an amazing assortment of sentiments. This set is perfect for making cards for your dads. And then I also use the coordinating dies that you can purchase separate. I use the stitch rectangle die set. I used quite a few from this set. You'll see as I make the card but I even used it for that little flag banner that I did there. And it just gives it a really nice touch with all the stitching. So let's get into the process video. First off, I'm just taking the largest die in that set and I'm cutting it on some white cardstock and it's going to fit perfect on my A2 sized card. I'm then going to use the second largest size to cut out this paper here and I did it upside so that the triangles were facing. And then I cut out with the third size a white and with the very smallest size I cut out on white cardstock for the little number one dad sentiment. So I'm just going to start by using my Your Next Stamp Black Olive ink and I'm going to stamp out this little guy here. And then using the blue Caraco ink I'm going to stamp out number one dad and I just layered it twice on top of each other. It's so crisp and it's an awesome ink. So now I'm going to do this little background base for my card. So I'm just taking all these cool little tools that came in the set and I'm just alternating the way that they are on the page around the little stitched rectangle here and I'm just choosing a whole bunch of different assortments and to really get a cool background try to layer some of them off of the rectangle because that just really makes it look like it's a piece of paper that was cut out and then you have a continuous kind of pattern. So I'm even using those tiny little um, screwdriver there and I just love how this background came together. It was so fun to do. So now I'm going to use the other little sentiment and there's so many great ones on this set. I chose the one that said man you're handy and I think this is the perfect one to have in my stash for when my dad does a favor or my father-in-law does a favor for my husband and I and I can just have this ready to go. It would also be super cute for Father's Day. And so what I did was I just cut a little inwards slit and then I cut diagonally into that slit and it makes a perfect little banner. And I'm just taking the coordinating dies there and using my wire snips to snip these apart. And then I'm going to use my die cutting machine to cut out this little guy here. I just used some post-it some post-it note tape to hold that down. And there it is, all perfectly cut out. I love it. And I'm just kind of layering it up how I want it to be. And I want to make this into a flag. So again, I cut inwards and diagonally cut in like a little flag. So to start out with, I'm using my Copic markers. And I'm going to start with the darkest color for the skin in E11. And then I'm going in with E00 to blend that out. And this little guy's hand held up like that is so cute. You can put any of the different little work worker tools in his hands like the little hammer or any of the ones that come in this set. So then for his little boots I used E57 and I blend that out with E55. 
And then for his hat, I'm using yellow, which is Y15. I blended that with Y13 and then Y11. And for his little tongue there, I used R22 and R20. And for his little coveralls, or excuse me, for his little shirt, I used B05, B00. And then I decided I wanted kind of an in-between color, so I went back in with B02. And just blended that out again with B00. For the overalls, I used Y07. And blended that out with Y04. And I tried to pick colors that would match that really cute little triangle pattern paper that I used. So I used some oranges and yellows and blues and greens in this card. Then I blended that with Y02. And for the tool belt, I used E57 and E55. And then I just used E55 for those little other parts on the belt and E53 and C4 and C2 for the buckle there. And then I used my black jelly pen just for the little eyes. Now for the card base, I'm just using E05, YG06, YG03, and YG02. And I'm gonna do that on all of the same images that are on this background. So I'm just going to do all of them with that same green color. You could make them all different colors for your background, but I just wanted to stick with each of them being the same color just so it'd be easier to color this background up. And I just love how those look, they're so cute. Then I used N4 and N0 just for the little nails there. And then I'm doing that for the rest of the nails. Then I'm gonna use the blue color for the little sauce, which is B05, B02, and B00. So I'm gonna, again, do that on all of the little saws there. And this is such a great way to use up your stamps and really make a background that's going to match with your stamped images that you're using. I love doing these. I like to stamp up a whole bunch of these and then have them ready and when I'm watching TV or a movie, I can color them and make a whole bunch of cute backgrounds like this. Then for the screwdriver, I used an orange combo. I used YR07, YR04, and YR02 and I'm doing that with all of the little tools there that match. And I'm just finishing those last few ones up. And then for the gray part, I'm gonna use N4 and N0. And then I'm gonna do the little hammer. So I'm using E57, blending that with E55, and then blending it with E53. And I love how the little hammers look. And then for the gray part, I'm gonna use C4 and blend that out with C2. And then I'm going to use for the little saws, C8 and C4. And blend that with C2. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on all of those. And then I just used C8 for that little circle that was on the end. And then just for the little wrench, I'm using N4 and N0. And now we have the back of our card base and I love how it turned out so much. So I've got all my little pieces here and I'm ready to do the assembling of the card. So I've got an A2 sized card here and I'm just going to take my ATG gun and adhere that white panel on. And then I'm gonna adhere on this little pattern paper and that cute little stamped pattern paper. And then I'm going to use some pop dots to pop dot up the sentiment so that it will really stand out. So I'm just using a little bit of foam adhesive and putting that on. And then I'm gonna take that little dad there and do the same thing, I'm gonna have him popped up. 
and I'm just adding some on his little feet there. And now I'm going to put him on and I'm gonna take that little toothpick and a little bit of washi tape. You could use masking tape or scotch tape if you had it. And I'm just adhering on the little toothpick so it will stay in place. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive just to the top of the hand and put a little bit of foam on the back of the little banner there. And I think this is just such a cute way to add in that number one dad part. And he looks so precious holding that little sign there and super happy that he's a number one dad. Now I'm taking some of the frosted glass gumdrops and just adding those on. And I'm gonna take these little Cosmic Crush gumdrops and put those on the little buttons on his coveralls. And that is my card. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I would love if you left a comment and please head over to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks guys, bye now.